like to get a swilly. First and foremost, I'd like to say to all my YT friends on the East Coast that my thoughts and prayers are with you and your families and that I hope that you get through this Hurricane Sandy mess in one piece. Just know that, you know, us here on the West Coast, you are in our thoughts and prayers. So I want to get started with a lace closure that I'm working on and as you can see it's all traced out. I do trace out my closures and um, <clears throat> because I like it very very neat. That's just the Virgo in me. So this is actually a five, four by five inch closure and it has a round top because this person is wearing this closure um, taped or glue down so when they when you're not wearing that we do a straight finish when you're gonna lay it behind your hairline but if you let me know that you're going to be taping and gluing it down then we do a, a round um, hairline and of course all that will be very fine ventilating and baby hair okay um, so what I want to show you well let me show you this is the hair that I'm using for this closure it's bulk hair and um, yeah, I, I haven't had bulk hair to ventilate with in so long that when I started ventilating, I thought that it was the hair, <laughs> but it was actually, um, bulk hair ventilates so different. So, um, as you can see, the knots are pretty big because I'm at the very bottom and I do do it thick down here and I also do it thick. A half an inch on the sides and that's to cover the um, the foundation and then to cover your wefts when you when you're sewing it down and um, you know and if when it's thick like this at the bottom it then blends in very very well with the track because the track is you know very thick and then you stack them close together so you don't have that gap in and, and you know how you see some of the layers they have like a gap you, you don't have that with this clo with my closures at all so now I'm actually ready to move into a smaller needle my three needle so this really is is five my needle five from one inch and then I have like a half of inch of four and next I'll be turning it to the side and I'll be ventilating the size with the with the fours to give it that thickness and then I'll move on to the center with my threes twos and of course my one um, around the edge in the front so the reason why I'm showing you this is because whenever I take it off the mannequin to swipe to use another needle I like to go ahead and seal it so I had a very old video from last year of how I used to seal my closures and back then I was I wasn't double knotting I was doing single knotting so with single knots you know it's it's a hit and miss some of the single knots shed and some don't so I used to just pile the sealant on so that was an old video so I took that video down but I actually do have a video up that's called a quick and easy way to uh, seal knots I think I call it seal knots but it's almost exactly what I'm going to show you here, but I'm actually just going to show you what I do and what I use. So the first thing I use is this clear acrylic sealer. Now it says gloss, but I recommend that you get the matte. But since I'm not pouring it on heavy, it doesn't really matter. I only use one coat of this. I used to pile it on like four and five coats and let it dry in between but I only use one coat and the reason why is because double knots do not shed they they may shed one or two I mean you know sporadically in the beginning but basically I've been doing double knots since the beginning of this year and I've had no problem with um, shedding so I basically just do one light spray and I'm gonna do it over here and spray it and that's it so one light coat of this and then the next thing I use is not my problem. I love this. It's very good. I always keep a spare in the wings. So I recommend this as the second sealant. Now not my problem. You have to shake it to give it a really nice shake. 
then I lightly spray it with this. So those are my two um, just spray sealers that I use. The Not My Problem and the Pat Clear Acrylic Sealer. So the main sealer that I like to use, of course, is my Easy Tab. I ordered this online from MHRW. If you're not familiar with how to use it, don't use it because it's it's no joke with the Easy Tab. You can really mess your lace up. You can put too much on that it penetrates through so thickly and clumps the hair together. So I recommend Easy Tab for wig makers only. If you are not a wig maker, then you need to just use the Not My Problem and the Pat's Clear Acrylic Sealer and just leave the Easy Tab alone. So the Easy Tab comes with a brush like this. I don't use the brush. Normally, if you scroll through my videos, it was just this past summer where I showed you how to use the Easy Tab. And um, because I can't really sit out here and do it, I use a cosmetic wedge sponge and the little white sponges that you get like 30 in a pack. That's what I use. I take the Easy Tab, I stroke it, stroke it on the sponge, and then I brush it lightly onto this. So you find that video and you watch it, and that will tell you how to use the Easy Tab. But like I said again, I don't recommend you use the Easy Tab you know unless you're a wig maker if you are not you are using it at your own risk so last but not least I want to talk to you about um, my wig caps these are the wig caps that I get from China they look like this these wig caps are only for lace front wigs so I don't make full lace wigs. I don't recommend ventilating through this stretch fabric because ventilating through stretch breaks the needles and that's why I won't use these for full lace wigs. And as you know, or if you don't know, our ventilating needles are $5 now, $4.99, $5. And um, that's a lot of money to break a lot of needles trying to ventilate through the stretch. So these are only for lace front wigs. Um, I also have been counseling through the email. I'm counseling three people right now and these people have paid my $50 consultation fee to me through PayPal through the personal gift option. And with my counseling, I'm saying it now on the email, you get a wig cap in that counseling so you get a um, I have three sizes small medium and large and I mail that off to you as soon as you pay your counseling fee your cap you let me know what size and I send you the size according to the circumference of your head like I believe um, I haven't written down a small is from 18 to 20 point five and then the medium is 21 to 22.5 and then the large is 23 and larger so um, that's how I do the caps and so like I said these caps are only for full lace front wigs this is fishnet or wig net let me take it out I actually um I normally use black, but I just happened to grab <laughs> this bag of beige or blonde or pink, whatever you want to call it. But this is how the fishnet looks. This is this is what you buy at you know at your your um, beauty supply. I think it comes maybe like this size. I don't know if it comes this size or not. This is a big size. And it's like $2.99 a pack or something. But this fishnet is what I use to make falls, ponytails. I'm wearing a ponytail now. And uh, you part wigs. I don't use 
these wig caps for those. These wig caps are only for full lace wigs because, you know, they're custom made and they're hard to get. I have to get them, I order them from China. So I just, I, I'm, I use them sparingly, but I have decided that I will send a cap to everyone that I cancel. And basically it's because my counseling is to help you make a wig, whether it's a full wig or a full lace wig. You know, you have the cap, you can kind of pattern it, pattern it. If you want to make a full lace wig, I don't, like I said, recommend ventilating through the stretch, but I know some of you ladies will do it anyway, but I don't recommend it. I would prefer that you maybe just cut this up, leave the stretch in the middle, and add, you know, the Swiss lace in the back and at the top, you know, and just leave the stretch in the middle. But, you know, you, to each his own, everyone has their own style of ventilating and, you know, you're comfortable with how you do it and, you know, it's, it's all trial and error anyway, till you make the perfect product. <laughs> so, like I said again, this um, fishnet basically is only for ponytails, falls, and uh, you part wigs. So, um... I think that's my only update that I have for you today, and um, I will see you again on Halloween. Hey, thank you for watching. Have a great day.